high crochets of the world. In this tutorial we will work together on this turban. I am so happy I did it. I don't know why. So I have lots and lots of requests to make to do a tutorial on a turban and I don't know why it took me so long to do it but finally <laughs> I did it and I am really happy because I think the turban is a yes a vintage accessory but uh, so nice and chic for us women uh, it gives something more even on a casual uh, outfit so I really really like them now this is something that I saw on the internet uh, I saw photos and um, they were worked on uh, knitted actually they were knitted and uh, I tried to make my version of course crocheted and this is what I did first so this was actually the first one so now you will need about 100 grams of yarn so really um, a small quantity of yarn suit suitable for a 3.5 to 4 millimeters hook and with 4 millimeters hook I worked this one and I must say this is the average size of a adult woman so of a woman actually and this one it's slightly but really slightly smaller and it's worked with a 3.5 millimeter so actually it's this one that we will work together on the tutorial that's why i am telling you this um, it's a slightly difference so actually as you can see i worked this um, duster and um, I think you have no you have the tutorial and I think you have you have the tutorial I think you know it already already know it if you don't I let you the link below so uh, there there was two uh, boards of yarn skeins of yarn of 50 grams that uh, left me from uh, was um, from this uh, this project and I worked the, the turban so uh, it's really about 100 uh, of yarn that you will you will need but the important thing is to be on suitable for 3.5 to 4 millimeters hook okay so now let's uh, let us begin and i of course let you do the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another tutorial on crochet and on knitting so see you at the next tutorial bye bye so let's get started so here i will work with uh, um wool yarn suitable for a 3.5 millimeters hook and with a 3.5 millimeters hook but i will begin my chains with a 3 millimeters hook so only the chains uh, for this one i worked with a yarn suitable for 3.5 to 4 millimeters hook and i work it all worked it all with a 4 millimeters hook and this is let's say a um, average wom woman uh, measure of course uh, during the tutorial I will tell you where uh, you have to stop and measure yourself uh, around the neck so don't worry it's it's okay but I just give you some suggestion uh, for what kind of yarn so uh, let's say yarn uh, available uh, su sorry suitable for 3.5 to 4 millimeters hook it would be just perfect now you can choose acrylic you can choose uh, wool you can choose cashmere or anything else or uh, you know this was this is wool and cotton I really like this kind of mixture uh, to work with uh, this is wool so it's not important uh, now I will begin with a 3 millimeters hook so here I, I worked with 4 I chained uh, the beginning chains with uh, 3.5 so half measure less now uh, we will begin with 15 plus 1 chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 okay now switch to your uh, hook that you will work with all the project and uh, why 15 plus 6 because on our 15 stitches uh, 15 chains we will put 15 stitches and the last that I added 
the last it's just to help us to be uh, to begin uh, into the second chain from the hook into the 15th chain so insert hook uh, actually yarn over insert hook into the second chain from the hook and work a half double crochet now into the next work a double crochet and into the next two work in each one half double crochet and for three times we will repeat this so we will work one double crochet and then two half, half double crochets into the next two of course so one stitch on one chain okay so this is half and another half and again until we remain with two chains sorry it's one double crochet and two half double crochets one double crochets so we began with one half and one with one half double crochet and then we work one double two half one double sorry one double two half one double two half one double two half this is third time and four times we need to work this and again so this is the last one double and two halves one and two and we must have two more chains left here and we have them and into this we will work one double and one half so we finish with one half as we began okay this is the first row now chain one let us begin the second row into the second row we will work the half double crochets as they are and around the double crochets we will work two front post double crochets so an increase with uh, front post so begin with one half double crochet and the very next stitch is a double crochet which means around the post of it we want to work two double crochets one and two okay like this now we continue on working two half double crochets so one in each of the next two and into the next double crochet again the same thing two front post double crochet around the same vertical bar of the double crochet the post of the double crochet now two half double crochets one and two and we continue on like this so as you can see we have already have our popping up lines here so around each double crochet we want to work and this there are these lines okay here is the beginning This is my second round, a uh, second row finished, and I have I began I finished with half the one half double crochet, and I have five increases with front post double crochet one two three four five these popping up things, and in between them I have four groups of two half double crochet. So this is what you have, you must have. Now into the third row we will work in each half double crochet that we have. A increase so we, we will work too and the front post double crochets will be worked as back post so we will work the two back post double crochet now we begin with we have one half half double crochet we begin with an increase one and two here we have the group of two front post now we are back post so we will work them as back post double crochet so we uh, insert hook from the back to the front on the right side of the post of the double crochet and go back around the post pull up a loop and work your stitch this is the back post double crochet now here I have two half double crochets which means in each of them I will work one increase okay so in each 
half double crochet of this row we will work an increase and then we will work in between them our two front posts back posts sorry double crochets like this okay we continue on like this don't forget to increase in each of your half double crochet of this third row and work normally but back post your uh, front post double crochet of the previous row like this so I finished my uh, round row sorry on the back side on the wrong side and this is the front side or uh, the right side actually of my work here my project and uh, what I have is two half double crochets at the beginning at, at the end of the row and uh, on my four groups of half double crochet I have four in each and of course I have my groups of two uh, front post double crochet which on the wrong side are back uh, back post yes now uh, this was the first increasing round a row sorry and from here we will just continue on increasing uh, first and after or uh, before and after actually each group of two double crochets only only into our each second row which is the row with uh, on wrong side with uh, back post double crochets so which means we increased into the next row we will work the stitches as they are then we will increase again but I will be back after I uh, finish this row, row so I chain one and this row will be worked the stitches as they are so exactly as they are front post double crochets and half double crochet into each half double crochet so I finished my row with all the stitches as they are my right side row and now we go and work on the wrong side and here is the row I chained one and turn and this is the row where we have to increase we will always increase before and after our group of two double crochets front post uh, back post actually sorry back post sorry back post uh, double crochets which means I have two mat, uh, half double crochets work the first and my second is just before the group of two half double uh, sorry the group of two double crochets back post double crochet that I have to work which means I will increase so now I have three I work my group of two back post double crochets one and two and I said before and after after this group this is my first half double crochet so I will put an increase then I will continue on working one half double crochet into each until I reach my last half double crochet before the next group of two double crochets this is it and here I will put again an increase so you understand and now because I actually worked on my group two increases from four I have six and I will always have a half of what I have on my groups of half double crochet here I will have half on uh, at the beginning and at the end of the row so here I have three here I have six okay we will increase like this until we will have 12 in each group of the four here groups of half double crochet and six and six at the beginning and at the end of course the groups of double crochets we will be exactly the same look at them and we will increase always increase into each of my second into the wrong side on the wrong side where we work the double crochet as back post double crochet the front post where we work the front post on the front side of the project 
we will just work the stitches, all the stitches as they are, okay? So just work all the half double crochets, then the two front post double crochets. Now, I finish my part with, uh, until I reach 12, and um, we will meet there. Okay, so here I am, I have uh, 12 rows and 12 stitches on my four groups of uh, half double crochets, one, two, three, four, and six and six on my half, two halves, beginning and ending, uh, finishing halves, okay. And uh, now let me tell you about how to measure. Now my uh, length, it's eight here for me. Actually, it's more than eight. It's about nine centimeters. Now we must know that the um, the project it's divided in three. Uh, parts. This is the first. Then we will be a part equally parts. We will be a part with uh, that. We will have to continue on with the same number of stitches for 12 more more rows. So we will work exactly the same what we have here for 12 more rows. Then we will be the third part where we will decrease exactly where we increased in this part, this first part section part as you wish to say until we will reach again, uh, we will don't decrease these two, so we will have always these two, okay? Only we will decrease until we will reach the same number of half double crochet as the beginning, so two, 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 and one, and one, okay? And these are the three parts, so these are equally parts, which means nine per three, uh, eight per three I put here, but it's actually nine, which means it's 20, uh, 27 centimeters. Now you will uh, put it in length over your head, like this, okay? Let's say this is your head, this is the face, and like this you will put it. Now, this 27 centimeters must be, um, or maybe more. As I said, this is smaller. Uh, if you work it with four millimeters hook, you will have a perfect uh, measure for a wo wo woman, so average woman. Now, uh, this is the part that you have to measure and must have uh, f uh, four, about four centimeters uh, on the front of the head, in front of the head, so here, and four centimeters on the back side, okay? And if it's okay, four more. Uh, and, and if it's okay, you will just continue on. Now, if it's not okay, if you think you need more, you will put one more row of increase and one more row of normal stitches. So I worked my last row of increases and another row with um, all the stitches as they are. And from here, I will go on and work 12 more rows. So you can uh, continue on and work 14 and then you will work 14 rows for this section and for the next two section, sections, okay? So how many rows you work for the first, and the increase is actually for the first row, for the first section, you will work for the other, okay? So I increase, I have 12, I will continue on with 12 more rows. And for the, this was the length, for the width, you just measure this part. And I have here 22 centimeters, and this must be okay around the neck, uh, around the sorry, uh, the head. Actually, from one ear to another, it must cover one or two centimeters of each ears. That's all, okay. And if it's perfect, you just continue on. If not, as I said, you you just have to increase uh, one more row, but just one more. Don't. Um, go further because will be will be too large okay so i finished this part too the second part i worked 12 rows and now i will work the last part the, uh, yes the last part of the three sections and um, this part is exactly as the f uh, the first part only that instead of increasing we will decrease so in each of second row uh, will be 
always the row with the wrong side, uh, we, will we will decrease first before and after the uh, group of uh, back post double crochet. So before and after, before and after, before and after. So from six that we have here into the next we will have five. And uh, from um, 12 that we have here we will have 10 and so on. In each of our second we'll be, uh, we will work these decreases exactly where we work the increases. Now to decrease, just let me show you this, to decrease we work two together. That's all. And there will be just one more um, part to finish. Now I have my these two, my these last two, so yarn over pull through no yarn over and we have three loops on the hook insert hook into the next and four loops and pull through all this is a decrease then we work the uh, back post like this one and two okay and we decrease again this and this so insert hook yarn over insert hook pull up a loop three loops on the hook Yarn, uh, don't yarn, yarn over, sorry, only insert hook, pull up a loop, four loops and pull through all. Okay, so we decrease before and after. Okay, so I finished my um, 10, actually there are, there are 10, not uh, 12, sorry. So uh, there are 10 rows, I finished my 10 rows, actually I finished, um, you have to finish with the front side so the last uh, row will be a, uh, a front on front side Actually, sorry on uh, on wrong side because we will begin a new row on front side so on wrong side you want you want to finish so you will actually uh, increase will be eight rounds of increases then you will work on front side then wrong side uh, two more rows to obtain 10 rows okay so eight rows will be for increase plus two more rows okay now from here what we want to do is uh, we will work so as you can see we have a uh, one two three four five groups of um, two double crochets so we will work until we reach the first uh, double crochet uh, po front post double crochet of the third group and we want to work the stitches as they are so half double crochet uh, two front post double crochets like this and again two half double crochets Again, two front post double crochets and two more half double crochets and uh, the last one, so here, uh, will be a half double crochet, okay? And now this is our, uh, there are 10 stitches here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stitches. And we have 10 stitches left here. Now with on these 10 stitches we will work uh, in rows of course uh, 32 rows. So this is the first, go on and work 31 more uh, exactly as they are the stitches on the wrong side you work uh, back post double crochet on the uh, front side uh, right side you work front post double crochets 32 stitch uh, rows one more thing I want to tell you that uh, if I put it on this one that is work with a, a little bit a thicker yarn and with a four millimeters hook I want to put it over there is not a big difference okay so slightly, just slightly, as you can see, slightly uh, smaller it's this one, okay? I finished 32 rows and I also cut the yarn, cut the yarn a little bit too longer than usual. Now we will begin to work uh, on the remaining stitches, exactly the same thing, 32, 32 
rows since I took into the next that is left unworked work half double crochet and continue on with all the stitches and I will work again 32 rows I will cut a little longer than usual yarn and I will be back to show you the last part how to sew it together so I finished both of uh, my stripes and the one I already sewed it here so we finished with this we finished with uh, the crochet now we all that we need is a needle uh, to sew so put them one over the other as I did here and on where where we began it's here on one side so from here we go here and we sew it and with the other one we go on the other side on the side so here okay you must obtain something like this so not here but on the side not like this okay but on the side just put okay and of course so on the wrong side this is obvious so it's like this I will sew it here let's see here but as I said on the wrong side like this Try to sew it on less um, border here, so don't extend it so much. Try to, as you can see, I it's like this a little bit. Okay, like this on the wrong side. We want to be as invisible as possible. Now make a nice knot, go up and down, make a nice knot like this and cut <coughs> the yarn. And these are, this is the first step, so to sew it on one side and on the other side. Okay, like this. And now, of course, we will sew it here. But of course, on the wrong side again. We just go on and sew this side and the other side. Let me just show you how. So begin here. I don't like to make knots I just try to block it like this okay and now just put it here and go on oh this was large too large So I was here, don't want to work with so large stitches like this. So I am on the wrong side, the border of the, let's say, hat and the border of the uh, stripe. And I just go on and work it like this. Can you see it's trying to put them together as well as I can. It's not difficult at all. Like this.
okay and then of course the same thing on the other side so I sew it all on one side and on the other side and now just one more thing before we can say we have a nice uh, hat here uh, it's the back side I just want to join so actually kind of do something like this so here I sew I will insert hook not hook sorry yarn like this and I will try to go like this and then I will pull tight all so something like this and pull and then go on and pull okay so like this from one side to another and pull and again we have some more stitches here it's where I so okay and pull nice and tight one more time until it's actually all like this from yes that's it you can go back and forth until you have here all nice and yes that's it like this okay and this is when it's ready when these two actually are together the borders on the back side this is how it has to look the back side and this is how it has to look the front side and that's it so as you can see it's not that difficult it's very fancy and nice and um, on fashion so uh, if you like it just give it a try and you'll see you will have a very very nice turban so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you at the next tutorial bye bye